Hello, so today we're going to configure Access Manager for EPTLS with our Entra ID lookup. Now we have several steps in order to achieve this, but we're going to concentrate on the last one, which is configuring Access Manager for policy evaluation. All of the other steps are contained within the links within the description for this video. So let's get started. We're going to go to Access Manager and Access Rules. When the page loads, we have a couple of default rules already created. And you can see the last one says Deny Access. So we're going to click Add a Rule. And to match the documentation, we're going to give this name as PM FTE Laptops. We will enable this. And the first thing that we're going to do is select our IDP that we created earlier. We're going to then use Group of the member that a user might be in this group. And we're going to select my PF Azure group. This could be any group in Azure. We're going to add another attribute, which is going to be the, whether or not the account is actually enabled. So we're going to go up to account enabled because we don't really want disable accounts using this. So let's equals and let's do true. So we then need to move on to our secondary attribute source. And this is where we're going to use endpoint certificates. We're going to go up and use common name. We're going to do contains. And then we're going to do skep CA for my certificate authority that I have on Meraki. And this is just to ensure that we're using the right certificate authority for any certificate that's been presented. And the last thing that we need to do is to tell Access Manager just exactly what behavior we want. So in this particular case, we're just going to do an allow access. We could do restricted access, and you can see that you can choose any of the other attributes down there. But we'll click Save, and this is our access rule created for using Entra ID lookup and certificates. Thank you.